Question number four, Maureen Pugh. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Justice. How has the government's justice agenda helped to hold offenders to account, reduce the number of victims of crime, reduce offending, and ensuring our laws are fit for purpose? Mr Speaker. The Honourable Amy Mr. Adams. Mr Speaker, our relentless focus on wanting New Zealanders to be safe in their homes, at work and on the streets has seen us over this term of government deliver initiatives like the introduction of public protection orders for high-risk criminals, enhancing the powers for judges to send some of our most serious young offenders to the adult court, improved protections for victims of crime through the Victims Code and better sharing of information in the justice system, and expanding the use of alcohol and drug treatment courts, rangatahi and specialist courts to reduce right. offending. Through these and other initiatives, we've seen a decrease in total crime by 14 per cent, a reduction in youth crime by 31 per cent, and the number of offenders who go on to re-offend has dropped by 27 per cent. Supplementary. Order. Supplementary question, Maureen Pugh. Thank you, Mr Speaker. What initiatives has the Minister undertaken to address family violence? Mr Speaker. The Honourable Amy Adams. And Mr Speaker, better dealing with family violence is my top priority as Justice Minister, and this has seen a wide range of initiatives over the term, including the launch and extension of the Integrated Safety Response Pilot, which has helped over 28,000 vulnerable people to date, overhauling the legal framework through the Va Family and Fano Violence Legislation Bill, rolling out the Na National Home Safety yeah. Service Scheme across the country, better information sharing between police, court and victims to better support the safety of those at risk and enabling police to video victim statements at the scene to reduce the trauma of court proceedings and improve the quality of evidence. Great. Excellent. Supplementary question, Maureen Pugh. How has legislative reform supported the Minister's work programme over the past three years? The Honourable Speaker. Amy Adams. Well, a significant legislative reform programme has seen 56 pieces of justice legislation passed over the last three years, including major reform in many areas. Some of these include passing the AML Phase 2 Bill to strengthen and expand uh, the existing anti-money laundering regime, the Judicature Modernisation Bill, which is one of the largest law-making exercises ever undertaken by this Parliament, the Returning Offenders Management Act, which allows agencies to appropriately deal with and reintegrate returning offenders, the Coroner's Amendment Bill to improve the coronial system, and the Organised Crime and Anti-Corruption Legislation Bill to strengthen New Zealand's response to organised crime at home and abroad. As well as this, Mr Speaker, we've introduced the Trust Bills, the Courts Matters Bill and the Historic Homosexual Convictions Bill, Fantastic. and of course the Family and Fano Violence Legislation Bill, which we're looking forward to seeing progress under the next term of Parliament. Very good. Supplementary question, Andrew Little. What does she say to the 610 <coughs> additional Robbie victims in the year to June this year, the additional 1,286 assault victims and the additional 5,720 victims of burglaries about her so-called successful strategies and just how many more Kiwis is she prepared to see robbed, bashed and burgled before she and her government take the issue of rising street crime seriously. Right. Mr Speaker. The Honourable well, Mr Speaker, Amy what Adams. I would say is that this government's social investment program is targeted exactly to reduce that pipeline of offending. Uh, this government's extreme focus through police and other agencies on better combat uh, combating, following up and arresting those who have committed assaults and burglary has led to more of them being held to account. And Mr Speaker, the policy announced by the national government that we will introduce if re-elected addresses exactly what that member is talking about, which is refusing to accept that we continue to allow that hard core of serious young offenders to terrorise their community. This is the party that's prepared to do something about it. This is the party that won't sit back and let the status quo continue. Question number five, Earl Twyford. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is for the Minister for Bill.